Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau, as well as St. Luke's University Health Network, where we're joining together doctors and chefs to create healthy menu options to be featured at their restaurants. Joining me in the kitchen today is Chef Matt Bickert of Borelli's Family Style Italian Kitchen, along with Dr. Jose Guzman. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. It's Thanks great to have you guys on the show today. Thank you. We've got a beautiful assortment of ingredients, so what are we making with them? Yeah. We're going to make uh, Parmesan crusted salmon with asparagus risotto and sun-dried tomato pesto. Beautiful. It sounds great. Yeah. Let's get started. All right. So we're going to start with our risotto first. Okay. All right. And we're going to put it on a pretty low flame because we're going to start out with a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. That's just a like a neutral canola oil, vegetable yeah, oil. Yeah, neutral canola oil. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to add some onion. And this is going to be for the risotto? This is for the risotto, yes, correct. Okay. So we're going to add our onion, mm -hmm. and we're going to sweat it until it's soft. Just a, not really even so much soft, just more translucent is okay. what we're going for. And then once we get translucent, we're going to add the uh, arborio rice. We're going to toast it lightly. Mm -hmm. and, and always important to use an arborio rice or a short grain yeah, risotto rice. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because um, arborio rice has a high starch content in mm. it. So what you'll end up doing is, um, especially when you're cooking healthy, yeah. uh, you can add stock to it instead of uh, cream or anything else. Most people will finish with cream mm -hmm. and cheese, but you can actually just use the stock. Awesome. Well, it's all about healthy fine dining today, which is why we have a doctor in the house. So yeah. Dr. Guzman, tell me about what you do with St. Luke's. Uh, I'm a family uh, doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, so I you know, see patients from uh, all ages, right. uh, from infant to seniors. So. You do a little bit of everything. Yep. Great. Right. All right, so we, we're sweating out the onions we're a little bit. We're sweating out the onions mm -hmm. a little bit. And while we're doing this, we're going to add a little bit of garlic too. A little bit, that's a lot. Well, this, <laughs> I'm going to use this in three other steps. All right, you like garlic? I do. Good, it, it well then a little bit. the more the merrier, right? My wife <laughs> always says that I add too much to it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a perfect recipe for you then. <laughs> All right. So you just want to you just want to make the onions translucent. You don't really need to cook them a lot. You don't even need to caramelize them because okay. if you caramelize them, you went too far. All right, that's so going to add too much doing, flavor. Right, exactly. Well, okay. you want them to kind of match the color of the risotto, right? Oh, that makes sense. It so keeps everything them, nice and right. And blonde. You want to stand. You don't want it to stand out. Right. So you do like to cook at home. I do. I do. Yeah. Now, do you do most of the cooking at home? I do. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you're a busy guy then. I try. Yeah. Plus, I, we have a four month, four, uh, five month old now. Oh, so. congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's great. Now, as a doctor, as a general practitioner, do you tend to advise your patients on things to eat and diet? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for uh, all your lunch and dinner meals, yeah. uh, should be at least half of your plate should be vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, salads, and then a quarter should be uh, your grains, uh, like rice, mm -hmm. uh, pasta, things like that, and then a quarter should be your, your proteins, like meats, beef, mm -hmm. chicken, salmon, right. eggs, salmon and so Salmon like on. we're making today. Yeah. That's great. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you added right. the rice in there. Yeah. So I added the arborio rice. Mm -hmm. And as you're toasting the grains, you want to make sure you don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Okay. And if you get a little bit, that's okay. And what's the purpose of toasting the grains at this step? When you're toasting the grains at this step, it's really helping to release some of the starch okay. that's inside of it. And it that's kind of what's making it stick. Too. Right, that's what's making it stick, exactly. And okay. you get a really nice aromatic out of it, too. Yeah, it smells amazing. I mean, all of that garlic you put in is <laughs> yeah. really aromatic. I'm yeah. a huge fan of garlic, too. Yes. So. Well, when you're making Italian food, I mean, you can't go short on the Absolutely. garlic, right? Absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, here we have Alyssa Poster. She's going to tell us a little bit more about things that are happening over at Camelback Mountain. Yeah, so Camelback Mountain is a uh, four-season resort. Mm -hmm. um, so we have our lodge, we have our indoor water park, um, we have our outdoor water park, Camel Beach, in the summer. Great right in the summer. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, people get two parks with their stay in the summer, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and then we also have our Camelback Mountain Adventures, which is open year-round. So we have zip lining, our mountain coaster, um, our mountain so cool. slides, Segway tours, a lot of adventure. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and then we also, in the winter, have our ski resort. So we have um, snow tubing, we have galactic snow tubing at night. So fun. Yep, and we have we have skiing and snowboarding, and we're PA's number one place to learn. So if you don't know how to ski or snowboard, we're happy to teach you. Oh, so that's perfect for me then, for yes. someone who's not so great in the skis. Yes, exactly. Perfect. All right, well, you're going to come back and taste with us in a little bit. Okay. We'll see you there. Awesome. Thanks, Alyssa. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen.
We now return to the chef's kitchen. All right, so did you pour some wine? You put something did. in there. I poured some white wine in here just to help deglaze the pot a I little that's bit. What I smelled. Yeah. When I ski, I stay in the Bonnie Hill. Yeah, I means you and I will <laughs> stick together then, because uh, not my area of expertise, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> well, Camelback is a great place to learn how to ski or snowboard. Yeah, absolutely. So, what is it like being part of St. Luke's network of doctors here? It's got to be pretty fantastic. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I like the most about being part of St. Luke's is yeah. that, uh, you know, they, they really do a good job coordinating care uh, within other specialties. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always looking for ways uh, to implement a better level of service right. for our patients. And we're also involved in educating the next generation of uh, physicians, mm -hmm. nurses, and, and nurse practitioners as well. Uh, so we're involved with in teaching as well. Right, so when the new doctors are coming in, you guys are there to just show them the ropes. Absolutely. That's yes. great. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, this smells so, so good. the white wine is slightly reduced, mm -hmm. right? You can see that the grains of the arborio rice have turned color a little yeah. bit, right? So mm -hmm. there's they're like a little have, more opaque. Right, they're a little more opaque. They don't have as much white to them. Okay, so now we got most of our white wines evaporated. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add a little bit of stock. This is a uh, chicken stock? Chicken stock, okay. yep. Yeah, a little bit of stock, a little bit at a time. And the key to risotto is stirring it. Mm -hmm. Because as you stir it, you move the grains around, they bounce off of each other and it releases the starch okay. as it absorbs the stock and that is what makes it creamy. Nice. You just Absolutely. gently stir as you go and it bounces them all around and that starch comes out and it'll just a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit of stock at a time. Nice. And it'll keep going. Well, if you want, I know you have plenty of other things to work on. We can yeah, help sure. you stir while you get to the rest of the recipes. All right, that sounds good. All right, you want to hop in here and stir? Sure. I know you're Thank a you. very accomplished chef yourself, so <laughs> get up in there. I don't know about there. that. <laughs> and now it's important uh -huh. to point out this recipe this dish, I should say, is mm -hmm. going to be featured on the menu yes, at the restaurant. It is. It's so on the menu at yes, As that's part of true. our fine dining mm -hmm. series. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is the sun dried tomato pesto. All right. Right? So we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. as your base. All right, so you bring a little bit of garlic. Again, just a teeny tiny just bit. Just a teeny bit. <laughs> and then you're going to put almonds. Nice. Did you toast those first? It no, like, I did no? not toast them. Okay. Now, So you kind of grind up over. the nuts and the garlic first mm -hmm. before you get into the basil yeah. and everything else. Yep, you just need a little bit of that. And then give it like a head start. Add, right, you got to give it a head start okay. because the you know the nuts and the garlic take a little bit more. And you add your sun-dried tomatoes. Beautiful. So much flavor going on in there. It smells yeah, incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of flavor that goes into it. And then you need a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You don't mm -hmm. need a whole lot but it's just to give it that nice salty flavor. Nice. Cheese can be healthy, right? Protein. Uh, moderation, I <laughs> Moderation, guess, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hi, this is Brian Bosser from the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau. Today we're gonna to be talking about the unique things that make the Pocono Mountains the Mid-Atlantic capital for indoor water park resorts. We have the largest one in North America, which is Kalahari Resort, a huge indoor water park that is family friendly. We have another indoor water park resort called Camelback Resort with their indoor water park, their outdoor water park. They also have skiing and snowboarding and snow tubing. So these resorts are right in the heart of the Pocono Mountains and they really offer a lot of things for families and adults to come and enjoy the Pocono Mountains as well as visiting all the other things we have to do. We now return to the chef's kitchen. So now what we're going to do is we can add a little bit more stock to this as we're stirring. And the key to making really good risotto is to add it little by little okay. as you stir. And have it on you know relatively low heat mm -hmm. because as you stir, it keeps pushing the starch out of the grains and that's what makes it creamy texture. So low and slow is really low and slow the name is of the game key here. For risotto, yeah. All right, good to know. Now 
Doctor, at the health center where your office is located, you offer yes. lots of different services there. Tell me a little bit more about those. Yes, uh, so uh, we have uh, physical therapy. Oh, nice. Uh, we have uh, uh, acute care as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, there's lab as well. So uh, patients can get their, their labs or physical therapy right in the same office. So it's like one-stop uh, shopping. Yes, yes, <laughs> x-ray as well. Uh, wow, so everything. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, it really is. Okay, so back to the pesto. Right. So I put a little bit more oil in here just to help uh, the next step, which is all the basil. Right. You know, do you always add the basil in last? I add the basil last because if you um, put it in first, uh, it, when you puree it up, it'll turn black. Mm, so it so really if keeps you want to keep color. the nice bright green color, you have to put it in gotcha. right at the end. So I'm going to need a little bit more oil just to help pull this together. Mm -hmm. And that's really important just for the overall consistency. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, if you're using a really good olive oil, I mean, it's not only is it healthy for you, right. but the taste will actually come through. You'll notice sure. a difference. Yeah. Right. All right. That's pretty good. There you go. Always important to scrape those sides down. That's right. Got to get it all up in there. All right, awesome. Yeah. Give it one more, one more pulse. Perfect. All right, fantastic. Now it's time for the basil. Now it's time for the basil. I love fresh basil. And it There's takes nothing like a that lot of basil yeah. to make pesto. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> It but always, this is going to add so much flavor to the yeah. dish. It always takes more basil than you think it does. Yeah, <laughs> right. Beautiful. And then while you finish that up, I'm going to bring in our buddy Brian Bossett Hi, nice from the Pocono again. Mountains Visitors Bureau. Great Thanks to see you as well. Yeah. Thanks for uh, so us. tell us what's happening in the Pocono Mountains right now. We're coming into winter. That's your yeah, biggest so we're, season. We're getting ready for winter. A lot of the ski resorts are opening up. So mm -hmm. the, we have six ski resorts keep in the Pocono straight. Mountains. Yeah, uh, Camelback's one of them. Of course. Uh, most of them have snow tubing at the resort as well. Yeah. So they have a lot of different things for all families of all abilities and activities. So mm -hmm. just have to dress more and bring your smiles. We also have four indoor water park resorts. To bring your bathing suit too. So, yeah, so after you're on the slopes, you can go enjoy one of those. You know, we have a lot of different activities going on throughout right. the year. Um, hiking, zip lines. Plus we have a lot of family resorts outside of the water parks right. that, you know, really attract families from generations to keep coming back and doing mm -hmm. all kinds of different things like that. So if you want to just get away too with your uh, significant other and or mm -hmm. get away from the kids, we have some great world-class resorts too. We have a lot of world-class ranked resorts right. for spas and hotels for yeah. adults too. So. Well, no matter what time of year you go or what you're interested in doing, it sounds like you're not going to be bored at the no. Pocono Mountains. Yeah, That's for all sure. year long we have something going on. I love it. All right, well, you're going to come back and taste with us in a little bit. Absolutely. We'll see you there. All right, thanks. Thanks, Brian. So you're yeah. killing it with the risotto over here. Yeah. Yes. So I just add a little bit more stock to it. Okay. As we keep going, right? We'll keep stirring. Now, this is pretty much there. I'm going to add a little touch more oil to it just to help it get the right consistency. All right. <clears throat> it's almost like Christmas colors in there with the green and the yeah. red all mixed together. Yeah, it really, really is. cool. <laughs> All right. So, Dr. Guzman, yes. when would you advise a patient come see you at your office? Um, so, um, at least once a year. Okay. Uh, if it, there's no uh, medical problems. Right. Uh, if there are any chronic medical problems, then uh, more often. Right. For example, a diabetic should really be seen every three months. Mm. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, every sure. three or six months. So, it, it really depends, but at least once a year. Okay. So, right. you can just keep an eye, make sure everything's going smoothly in someone's life. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right. All right, so that smells so good. That basil with the garlic. The basil and the garlic. It smells That's like summertime in here. Now, when people would uh, traditionally make pesto, they would use a mortar and a pestle. Yeah. So when you do in a food processor, it's important not to uh, either add too much oil and make it real liquidy. Okay. Um, but also to not over blend it. Because like you said, it'll really mess up the color. Right, and... it'll mess up the color. The garlic and the basil kind of mm -hmm. fight each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> After, after you push it through it. So it's important to not over blend it. Well, it looks fabulous. This is gonna be our Parmesan breadcrumbs. All right. Right, so we're gonna add our oregano. And these are just plain breadcrumbs that yep. you have in there? Plain breadcrumbs, yep. Oregano, 
thyme, rosemary. Wow. And that's like powdered rosemary. A little bit of paprika, yeah. I ground Even it. Your little bits. I, I, gr <laughs> I ground it. I ground it up so that it sticks to the fish better. Nice. You know, because you don't want you know rosemary is a larger leaf. Yes. So if you grind it up, it helps stick to the fish. Better. That's a lot of spice. Well, we're for gonna, those breadcrumbs, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean they're adding a lot of flavor. Yeah, it is going to be nice. Which I like that and you're doing this on your cheese. own rather than using like a store bought Italian breadcrumb. Yeah, it helps um, if you do it on your own. Uh, think your. Uh, I just bought. Um, I'm using panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. but I ground them up pretty fine in a food processor oh, okay. beforehand. Uh, the panko breadcrumbs have a little bit more flake to them. Yeah. Um, so They're a lot lighter. It tends to, right, it's lighter and it tends to crust better on mm -hmm. a piece of fish. Nice. So I'm just going to mix this up here. That's perfect. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the chef's kitchen. All right, put a little bit of oil in the pan to sear the salmon with. Bring my breadcrumbs over here. The asparagus is for the risotto, which is, you gotta do that close to the end so you don't overcook the asparagus uh, okay. and it becomes mush. Yeah, nothing. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna go too far with the asparagus. Yeah, but nothing we want There's a lot of timing that goes with cooking, right? Yeah, there is a lot of timing, yeah. <laughs> Risotto is definitely um, something that's uh, it's labor intensive, but it's worth it. Worth it, definitely. Yeah. When it's really made right, there's nothing like it. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna put take our salmon. So no flour, no no egg for nope. this. Nope. The natural oils that are in the salmon help the breadcrumbs and all the seasoning stick to it. You don't Perfect. have to go real heavy on the crust. Yeah, I was going to say that probably keeps the crust it's really light, too. Exactly. It's just enough to mm -hmm. get it to stick to it and not too much. I never think to do salmon breaded this way. You know, I do it with chicken or pork right. chops or, you know, different cuts of, of meat. But never think to do it with fish. I just want to put it in the pan just a little bit. And you want to put it in there before you get it too hot. Okay, so you... You want it relatively lower heat. Yeah, to start with, yeah, right. for sure. As opposed to if you were just searing a piece of salmon, right, you exactly, want it a bit yeah. higher. Yeah, you just want it to start in the pan just low enough so that it won't stick. Mm -hmm. And you also don't want to burn the breadcrumbs too because now we just put breading on it. Right. So if you if it goes too high, it'll just burn the breadcrumbs. Right. And then it's not going to taste as good. <laughs> oh, that looks great. That's almost there. Okay. And it takes more it takes more stock than you think it does to make risotto. Right, it really oh. absorbs it a lot. It absorbs a lot mm -hmm. of liquid, yeah. So we're gonna add the asparagus now. And those are that's just raw asparagus. You didn't blanch mm -hmm. that or anything nope. first. Yep, Great. it's just raw asparagus. And it's just the it's about uh, three quarters of the way up the stem plus the tips. Got a little more stock to it. And then this is the point where I like to throw in a little salt and pepper. Because you want it to absorb some of it, but you don't want to you don't want to over season. Right, of course. It's a lot harder to take out salt than it's <laughs> sure. All right, that's good. So now are you gonna flip it first before it goes mm -hmm. in? Okay. I'm gonna flip it. You can already see how nice and brown it is on the bottom. Yeah. And that's why it's really important to not go too high on the heat right. before you do it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It that's great. gorgeous. And you can really smell all of the aromatics in the bread yeah, once and that's, they hit that oil. Right, and that's really a part of the key of the breading, is that yeah. when you put all those herbs into it, it really smells fantastic. And awesome. you just leave it on the burner just for a minute longer, maybe, and then you put it in the oven, and it's really fast in the oven. It's okay. probably another maybe minute or two, and it's done. So just looking to kind of cook it through in the center, and yep. that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Guzman, growing up in, um, in the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. what kind of foods did you eat? Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, rice, beans, yeah. uh, plantains, uh -huh. uh, and then some sort of meat, yeah. beef, chicken. Right. Uh, so. Any also. favorites? Uh, no. All of, all of it. All of it. All of yeah. it. <laughs> and the salmon is just about ready. Perfect. All right. That looks great. Beautiful golden brown salmon. And the asparagus is nicely cooked through. It's beautiful. I'm just going to put in a little bit of Parmesan cheese here at the end. Just a little bit, right? Just, just enough for that just flavor. Enough. Just enough for the flavor. <laughs> that all right, Doc? Through. You yes, approve? approve. Yeah. <laughs> right. We have doctor's approval, so it's all good. I'm going to stir that in there. That's yeah. wonderful. All right, let's plate it up. Fantastic. The honors. Thank you. <laughs> all right. 
The so texture on that's perfect. Yeah, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And always, that's this is a kitchen tip, always use a wooden spoon to make risotto. Why is that? Uh, because it's better for the bottom of the pot. Mm. It, it pulls all the starch grains off the bottom of the pot. And nice, stick. great tip. Can hear how crispy that is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then we're gonna put a little bit of this pesto right on top. So many different things going on here. Lots of different yeah. textures, Lots flavors. Lots of textures and flavors. Mm -hmm. But not a lot of fat, not a lot of cheese. No. Not a lot of it's oil went healthy, into this. Yeah. This looks great. Right. You guys join me in our tasting. Thank great you. to see you back. There Thank you, you guys. Sure. All right, let's dig in. Go ahead. Come on, get in there. Don't be shy. You put a lot of work into that risotto. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow. Really I didn't get any pesto and it was still delicious. That risotto is perfect. Yeah. It's seasoned perfect. Absolutely. The texture's perfect. perfect. Great job. Great job. Yeah. You guys yeah. knocked yeah. it out of the park. That's yeah, mm. really good. The pesto is awesome. Thank and you. the yeah. salmon's cooked really well. The crispiness I love. on the salmon mm -hmm. is great. That crust is awesome. It's a really nicely balanced dish. And like we were saying, we did it with so little butter, fat, oil, yeah. anything. Doctor approved. <laughs> yes. Guys, great having you from Camelback in the Pocono Mountains. Great having St. Luke's represented in the Thank restaurant. You. Everything was awesome today. Thanks for being on the Chef's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The experience was great on Chef's Kitchen. I'm glad I got to do it. Uh, the show was great. It was um, educational. It was informative, uh, and it was fun too. It's always great to tell our patients uh, about how to eat healthier, and about healthier ways to eat uh, their foods.